We done with self doubt. We done with it. Let me tell you why we done with it. You are so important and you just don't realize it. Let me prove it to you. Let me prove it to you. All right, so we gotta take it back, right? Let's think about this. When you were in your mother's womb, right? First of all, you did not even have to ask for like her. Hey, the divine creator, God, Jesus, whatever you want to call me, it doesn't matter. Hey, can you make sure that I have all ten of my toes? And can you make sure that my nails are actually on the tip of my toes like they're supposed to? Um, can you make sure that I don't have like an ear growing on top of my nose? Um, make sure that I have my lungs in place. You don't have to say none of that, right? All those things were given to you. You know what I mean? You didn't have to say, oh, and then can you make sure? You don't have to worry about none of this. You don't have to say... Well, can you make sure that when I come out, I can breathe? Like, make sure that I breathe properly. You don't have to do none of those things. Those were gifts that were given unto you. Man, when you research your birth chart, if you've never done it before, go to astro.com, astrocafe.com, one of them. I'll post the links in the comments because it's very important. You should dig into who you are. Because you are very, very important. The fact that you are here on this earth. It shows everything. I just saw one eleven on the clock. It shows everything. It proves to me that you have a divine purpose. That I mean, that's the reason why you're here. Other reason why, why? Why would you be here? You hear me? So when I think about it, I was just talking to a young lady, and she was talking about we was talking about doubt. I know for a fact when I was three hundred and fifty-seven pounds, my self-doubt ran so deep. I'm talking about deep. You hear me? Like, to the point to where, even when I was 100 pounds down, even when I was 150 pounds down, I got down to 163 loss. That's a whole adult I lost. You hear me? A whole average adult I lost off my body. But my self-doubt ran so deep where I still felt like, oh, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. But I ain't got that yet. And I kept doubting myself. Never once taking a moment to just stop and look back on all that I have accomplished like girl you just dropped a whole person off of your body you just completely overhauled your health you just completely beat infertility the doctors told you you could not get pregnant and that stood true for 19 years you dropped that 163 pounds you got the hanging off the ceiling and doing stuff <laughs> and you got pregnant three times back to back boom 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 I couldn't even believe it so what I'm saying is that you're going to have to do it afraid. You may think and you may believe that you can't do it. Because I didn't either. I didn't even think I could lose 20 pounds successfully and keep it off. But I did. Look at me today. It's okay to brag on yourself sometimes. Because you know what? It's enough negativity going on in the world. And people are going to drag you down every moment they get. So it's up to you to celebrate yourself. Celebrate them small wins because you did that. If you lose 10 pounds, baby, you did that. If you start eating better, baby, you did that. Don't let nobody uh, dim your shine. None of that. You hear me like, oh my God. I'm just trying to tell you this. Women, you are so goddamn important. Like, it don't matter what nobody tell you. Men, you are so goddamn important. It don't matter what nobody tell you. Like, we need you here. And we need your testimony. We need your strength. We need your guidance. Like, whatever you got, just put it out there in the world, okay? So, I'm going to keep on going. I love y'all. And just remember, when your self-doubt creeps in and tells you what you can't do, kick that thought out your head. And then remind yourself of what you've already done. And let me tell you this. Last thing, and I'm gone. Last thing I'm out. You have survived 100% of the hardest days you have ever encountered in your life. You got a 100% running track record. Shout out to Steve Harvey for that. He showed me that. But if you think about it, those times in my life where I just knew, oh, baby, I, I, I might as well just go. Because this is just too much for me. Like, I don't even know. Like, I don't know how I'm going to survive. But I survived it. You hear me? So, you have a 100% track record. So when things get hard, just be. Just relax. Do nothing. Go to bed. Just, just whatever. Listen. 
I know I talk too much. But believe in yourself. Even if you doubt yourself, that's okay. Let's just keep going. If you find people around you like me or whoever that can just give you that extra little boost to remind you that baby, you is the shit. I got this lady in my inbox. She done lost over probably more weight than me. I don't even know. Shout out to her because she know who she is. Girl, that is self-doubt when you're looking at yourself in the mirror and talking about how you still need to lose X amount of pounds, X amount of pounds. Okay, oh, hey, that's fine. That's your goal. Keep it. But don't for once sit up there and uh, dismiss all the greatness that you have done already. Like, if you've lost already 100 pounds, baby, people don't do that. Do you hear me? Mama, you. I love it. Keep going. Keep going. Share all y'all stories with me. All of them. I love it. I love it in my inbox. Come with it. And we getting healthy. Join my page. Fat Mind Training. Fat Mind Training. Find me on TikTok. I am on YouTube. I haven't changed my, my name on YouTube yet. But I'll post a link on my page. But follow me and help me grow. I love y'all.